All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment and a like on the video down below. Let us know what you think and share us on social media. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go kill an Elder Dragon for a boatload of runes. This is a one-shot deal. This is not a farm. A lot of people have been falsely advertising this as a farm. Uh, when she's gone, just like any other boss, she's gone. How are we going to fight an Elder Dragon at such a low level with such crappy equipment, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. No better way than to demonstrate. So, where we want to end up is at this Ferrum Great Bridge um, Point of Grace. And the easiest way to get there is once you go here to the third church of Marika, you go behind it, and right down here there's a portal that leads you over here, right here, and you just follow the path south, activate this beacon, this point of grace, and when you get here, hey, yeah, you just gotta run, baby, run. That's a big dragon, you say, how are we gonna defeat it? Are we even going to stand a chance? Well, here's the funny part. This isn't even the dragon that we're going to be fighting. We're just going to have some big cojones run right between his legs and zigzag a little bit. Just in case he wants to fight us. When we get to the other side of the bridge, well, we're going to bear to the right here, which will bring us toward uh, a westerly direction. And there's a road that leads the way. And again, just a little zigzagging because, you know. Yikes. We're near one of those erd trees, so that's good. We're in the right, going in the right direction. And we head down. Putrid Avatar, I don't even know what that is. I can't even see it. Well, we're just going to run past it. We are running, running, running. One thing you learn in this game is there is no shame in running. <laughs> okay then, that didn't go as planned. Don't let that happen. Round two. Oh cool, this time he's facing us, so that's great. And he's already turning around to get a, uh, a bead on us. So I already pre-ran this just to make sure I know where I'm going. And I didn't run into those putrid avatars last time. But I chose a slightly different route. So we're going to go back to that slightly different route because that wasn't cool. We weren't on the road last time. We t I thought maybe the road would be quicker. Maybe it is, but it's also far more deadly, apparently. I just kind of stay on the edge here. All right, I don't see any putrid avatars after me. Thank goodness. Yeah, I guess we were just far enough over to uh, aggro it last time. All right, so yeah, there's a jerk. Let's run, 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 run. We'll zigzag a little bit. Oh, boy, here we go. And we got another dragon. And we're going to have to get past it. Yeah, we do. For the moment. But that's not the end of things. Oh look, another dragon, how wonderful. And up here, the mother of all dragons. So we're gonna bear to the left of her. And just keep going. Sleep. Yeah, that was a sleeping dragon. 
that's wonderful. <clears throat> and what I recommend you do at this point is run, run, run. I thought there was a uh, point of grace over here. Uh, oh, it's over by this building. My bad. Got a little turned around. <clears throat> So yeah, here's another lost uh, grace point, so go ahead and activate that while you're here. And then when you're done, you just run down to her here. And if you got your bleed weapon ready, start chopping. She's got boatloads and boatloads of life. But you'll see when the bleed procs Nice chunk will come off, see? So let's just do this for a little while. Now that we're getting close to finishing her off, I'm going to take one of those uh, foul feet and hopefully we can finish her off before the effect wears off. I think one more uh, bleeding proc will do it. Yeah, this is a little bit time consuming. It took a couple minutes overall, really. Come on. If you have the gold scarab, even better. I don't have that yet. I tried for it, and quite frankly, I was unable to do it, which was annoying, but it is what it is. Look at that. Almost dead. Is she dead? Well, well, she's dead. I got a dragon heart. And... A hundred thousand runes to play with now. That's friggin' awesome. Just like that. That's all it takes. I'll show you where we are on the map just so you can see it. There it is. So you go from the church of Marika back there through a little quick uh, portal. Portal takes you to up here. Follow the path down, activate that, run through the bridge. If you haven't already done all this so that you can farm those boulders, that's the direction for the boulders. Otherwise, boom, you come down. I wouldn't follow the path. I kind of hang off to the side of it a little bit. I did activate a uh, point of grace over here. And then one here in a cave. But that was when I was doing my initial run and just exploring the area. But you just keep making your way around. Stay on the left-hand side of the dragon when you come up to her face. Run out behind her. Activate this. And then run up on the left side of her from behind. And then just start whacking away at her. And boom. Just like that. 100,000 runes. Congratulations. It's a one-time deal. You know? So it is what it is. But hopefully that helped you out. If it did, please uh, leave a comment down below and a like on the video. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And hit that bell for notifications so you don't ever miss one of these useful videos. And don't forget to share us on social media. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.